Advanced Features of Excel 2016 We have learned about creating different charts in MS Excel in the previous chapter. Let us learn about some features for formatting data in this chapter. Sorting data When sorting information in a worksheet, we can rearrange the data to find values quickly. We can sort a range or a table of data on one or more columns. We can sort the data in ascending or descending order. We can also define a custom sort according to the requirement. Follow these steps to sort data in Excel 2016. Step 1. Select a column or a range of data that is to be sorted. For example, we have selected the range A to C7. Step 2. On the Home tab, click on the Sort and Filter command from the Editing group. A drop-down list will appear. Step 3. Select the Sort A to Z option from the menu to sort the data in the ascending order, alphabetically. Custom Sorting In Excel, we can sort various columns at a time with separate sorting instructions for each. Follow these steps to custom sort the data in Excel. Step 1. Select the range of columns to be sorted. Step 2. On the Home tab, click on the Sort and Filter command from the Editing group. A drop-down list will appear. Step 3. Click on the Custom Sort option from the menu. Step 4. Click on the My Data Has Headers checkbox in case the selected columns have a heading at the top. Step 5. Click on the sort by arrow and select the column in order to the sort the data according to it. Step 6. Then, click on the sort on arrow and select cell values option. Step 7. Now, click on the order arrow and select A to Z or Z to A option. Step 8. Click on the Add Level button on the top left corner of the dialog box to add another column for sorting. Step 9. Click on the OK button. The data will be sorted according to the selected criteria. Filtering Data We filter the data in Excel to show the data we want and hide the rest. Follow these steps to filter the data in Excel. Step 1. Select the range that needs to be filtered. Step 2. On the Home tab, click on the Sort and Filter command from the Editing group. Step 3. Select the Filter option from the drop-down list. A small arrow will appear in front of the column headers. Step 4. Click on the arrow in front of any column header. A drop-down menu will appear. All the entries will be visible in the list with small checkboxes. We can uncheck the boxes in order to hide those entries from the data. Step 5. Click on the OK button. The rows with unchecked boxes will be removed from the list. When we apply a filter on the data, it is not lost. We can retrieve the data by clicking on the unchecked boxes again. Applying Custom Filter In Excel, we can apply a custom filter. For example, you want to find out the names of the people who have the location as Pune. Follow these steps to apply a custom filter to find it. Step 1. Apply filters to the data, as explained in the previous topic. Step 2. Click on the location arrow. Step 3. Select Text Filters option from the menu. A submenu will open. Step 4. Select Equals option from the menu. Custom Autofilter dialog box will appear. Step 5. Select the repeated location from the menu. Step 6. Click on OK button. The only entries that match with the criteria will be displayed. Removing filters. 
We can easily remove filters from the data by following these steps. Step 1. Click on any cell in the worksheet. Step 2. On the Home tab, click on the Sort and Filter command in the Editing group. A submenu will appear. Step 3. Select the Filter option from the menu. All the applied filters will be removed from the data. Conditional formatting. Conditional formatting can help make patterns and trends in the data more apparent. To use it, we create rules that determine the format of cells based on their values. Follow these steps to apply conditional formatting to any data series in Excel. Step 1. Select a range of cells to format. Step 2. On the Home tab. Click on Conditional Formatting command from the Styles group. A drop-down menu will appear. The drop-down menu displays the following options. Highlight Cells Rules and Top Bottom Rules. These two options are used when we want to highlight the values in specific cells. Example, Greater than, Less than, Top 10, Above Average, Below Average, etc. Data bars, a data bar helps you see the value of a cell relative to other cells. The length of the data bar represents the value in the cell. A longer bar represents a higher value, and a shorter bar represents a lower value. Data bars are useful in spotting higher and lower numbers, especially with large amounts of data. Color scales, Color scales are visual guides that help you understand data distribution and variation. A two-color scale helps you compare a range of cells by using a gradation of two colors. The shade of the color represents higher or lower values. A three-color scale helps you compare a range of cells by using a gradation of three colors. The shade of the color represents higher middle, or lower values. Icon sets. We use an icon set to annotate and classify data into three to five categories separated by a threshold value. Each icon represents a range of values. Step 3. Select the desired conditional formatting according to your requirement. For example, we have used the orange data bars from the data bars category. We can also create a custom conditional formatting rule by selecting the new rule option from conditional formatting command drop-down menu. To remove all the conditional formatting applied on a data range, select the clear rules option from the same menu.